Kristen Kirkpatrick. Thank you so much for being here on the Founder BB Show live from Dallas, Texas. How are you? I'm doing great today. Thank you for having me. It's such an honor and a privilege to be on your show. I thank you. I received that. But I love to talk to dietitians because you guys are holding our society up. Yeah. And I know you know really a lot of what's going on. So I want to talk about uh, on the run snacking during summer. Summer is the time where people usually let go. Yep. Yep. And I don't think we can let go anymore. Well, I think we just, uh, we kind of shift our focus a little bit more, right? I think that sometimes when I'm speaking with my patients on what options to look at, they're just, it's too complex. It's not really convenient. So we need to look at something that's a little more simple. I actually tell them before we even think about food, let's think about hydration. That's because studies show that when we're dehydrated, when we're thirsty, we tend to confuse that with hunger. So sometimes we don't even need fuel. We just need hydration. And in the summer months, it's hot. We need that more than ever. So I always say like, hey, before we talk about the snack pack, let's pack the water bottles. Let's put the jugs of water in the car. Let's make sure that hydration is always something that we're focusing on. Okay, we're not talking just for long traveling because when you're in the city now, traffic can make that long traveling. So when you're traveling around the city, you need to be hydrated is what you're saying? Well, I think that you should always have water with you because, again, hydration is going to be really key to keeping energy up. I think if you're just traveling around the city, making sure you have things that are non-perishable, that have that, that satisfaction that you're looking for, and that will not make sure, that will not cause you to be like, oh my gosh, I'm hungry 20 minutes later. So I, I love the Quest Dip chocolate peanut butter bars. They've got 18 grams of protein. That protein keeps our energy up three grams of net carbs, one gram of sugar, chocolatey coating, peanut butter flavor. So perfect. We love this, whether we're just bouncing around the city or we're taking a long car trip. Um, if you have the ability to bring things that need a cooler, then you can also look at bringing some individual guacamole, some hummus, some peanut butter. Peanut butter obviously doesn't need a cooler. Pair that with some whole grain crackers that gets you the combination of healthy fats and fiber. Or you could do something a little bit more simple but still has the antioxidants and fiber. So popcorn is a great option. Everybody loves popcorn. You could also go with fresh fruits and vegetables. So just having those things packed with you that's easy and convenient will make it easier to snack in a more healthy manner. Kristen, you're so on point. Parents are doing this when the kids are little, but as they start to grow older, maybe you already know this, then they start stopping at fast food to do right. these things to feed their kids. So we can extend this, I'm believing, and still stay healthy. You don't have, just because your kids are out the car seat, doesn't mean that now we got to go to the fast food place, correct? Am I correct in what I'm thinking? Right, you're absolutely correct. Uh, and, and the other thing too is that like when we stop to get some of those options, there's very few options that everyone in the family can choose that are nutrient dense. So again, having something with you can be really helpful. Uh, the, the other thing that I've been really loving is the Quest Ice Coffees. I noticed that when my kids want to stop at fast food and, I, and they say, oh mom, you can get a coffee there. We don't have to make that excuse anymore because now I can keep these in the car. They're non-perishable, 10 grams of protein one gram of sugar, and that's very different from the sugary iced coffees you're gonna find at different fast food plates at your convenience store. So there's just a great option to give you that caffeine boost to help with offsetting the sluggishness that often occurs when we're traveling. That's what I was gonna ask. Okay, yeah, because after you stuff yourself with that peanut butter and crackers and all that stuff, then you're getting a little sluggish while you're striving too. So this will help you by eating quality food rather than fast food. And I'm not trying to hammer the fast food industry down because it has its place. But when you control what you eat, you control your lifestyle. Yeah, yeah, that's a great way to put it. You know, one of the things I focus on a lot with my patients is just looking at their blood sugar and their insulin. So when we say, oh gosh, I'm feeling sluggish, I'm gonna go get a bag of candy, while we might feel that that gives us energy temporarily, we're going to get that sugar crash. And when the sugar crash is down, we have that, oh my gosh, I feel so drained of energy. I can't drive anymore. Or I need more candy to get that back up. So actually keeping our sugar down is a real key factor. 
And I'm not talking about naturally occurring sugars that we find in fruits and vegetables, things like that. Um, I'm talking about in products that really don't have any other benefit other than they're just going to give sugar. So we need to keep those out of the snack bag while we're traveling. And if we're talking about kids, that can be a real challenging component, right? Um, th that's why I'm always packing the, the Quest bars with me because my kids love them and I know they're not going to get that, that real sugar rush that those other things will give them. I want my audience to know as I wrap up, Kristen Kirkpatrick is a former lead dietitian at the Cleveland Clinic Department of Integrative and Lifestyle Medicine in Cleveland, Ohio, and is also a Quest partner. Kristen, where do we go online and get more information so we can be more informed and make better decisions? You can get more information at questnutrition.com, Amazon retailers nationwide. I want to thank you for stopping by the Valder BB Show and making us smarter and healthier. It's been my pleasure. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure for me as well. Hi, I'm Valder BB, host of the Valder BB Show. We have over 1,000 videos on ValderBBShow.com and YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. We upload new videos daily. Our site is a modern baby boomer platform with news and information important to boomers. Subscribe to YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow and stay connected as I interview the world's most fascinating people.